looking at your investment property, what are you feeling when you see this? Devastation. If you wonder what we've learned from the death of Chloe Valentine, then you only have to look at this home to realise the answer is absolutely nothing. And this was babies living in this environment, remember? Tiny children from families, they say. This is Louise Stone's property, and it's not the fact her investment property has been trashed and she's just lost thousands of dollars that's bringing her to tears. It's the thought that three helpless children were living in this. Two of them, aged just six months and three years, were handed in foster care to her tenant by Families SA. If you could order a baby, the most gorgeous little thing, that was the baby. Sorry. Seven months ago, Louise says a single mother answered her ad offering this Elizabeth Downs home for rent. She gave me a story which I thought was worth, you know, considering where she had two little children, foster children, and a disabled son. And um, she had good references, being one of which was Families SA. But within a month, Louise says, alarm bells were ringing. I came here to replace the back door that had a faulty lock. It was pretty scary. After four weeks, I was like, oh my gosh. Oh my God, did you smell that? <sighs> It was just off. Forget the before and afters of a home renovation show. These are the before and afters of a home wrecking show. And it wasn't just her home she was worried about. What about Families SA? There's two foster children in this Oh, house. I rang them. I rang them. I reported her. I reported her to Families SA saying I was concerned for the children's welfare because of the condition. And this is why. Cat feces as you walk through the door. Well, what is this stuff? I have no is this idea. cat fur or? Yeah, it's just it's just filth, filth. But this it gets worse. So this is nothing. All right. This is after a period of seven months. Seven months. To seven get this. months. And it wasn't easy getting access to her home. How hard was it to get her evicted? Well, they gave her another fortnight, rent free in my house to continue living and her son, her poor, her poor 17 year old son, to be living in squalor. Yesterday she was allowed back into her property after the tenant was finally evicted. So what do we mean by squalor? Well aside from the human filth like food, dirt, cigarette butts and empty alcohol cans, a number of cats lived inside. Their faeces litter the floor. The smell of urine is overpowering. And well, experience has taught me to come armed with a mask. I'm just devoted for the kids. A baby living in this environment, it's just disgusting. I did inspection, I tried to do three inspections. She made excuses each time. I served papers to do an inspection. You can only imagine the six month old was crawling through this. The three year old, who knows? But where was Families SA in all this? Well, nowhere to be seen, it seems. This is where the 17-year-old disabled boy was sleeping as of yesterday. Right. And when he came here with a caseworker, he asked us to burn his mattress. The fact that they were placed in the foster situation is appalling, it's disgusting in itself. Tony Tonkin is a social worker and the founder of the Child Protection Party. He says often with Families SA, all the effort goes into assessing the parents, not the foster parents. To be re-traumatised by placing into a place which is unclean, unkept and filthy is a disgrace. And the fact that they've allowed this to happen in the first place just amazes me because one wonders what sort of investigation and assessment was made on this foster parent. Often it's non-government organisations responsible for finding and managing foster parents. We actually want NGOs to be far more accountable 
for the types of training that they have for foster parents, the type of assessments that they do for foster parents, so we can ensure that all kids are safe. But Louise says it's not just the foster children that needed help. The biological child living in this house was under the care of a disability worker. Intervention should have come through them. He said to my partner, you should knock this house down because it's all bad. And his carer tells me that he would say that he didn't want to come home. Could he stay with his carer? We understand now all the children have been removed from the woman's care and she is getting assistance. As for Families SA, how could they still allow this to happen after being slammed by the coroner and while a royal commission into child abuse was going on? Meanwhile, Louise has to pick up the pieces on her own. Oh, I don't know how people live like this.